Hey, this is Arjun, CEO of Doula, and in today's video, I'm going to walk through the required documents to open a U.S. business bank account from anywhere in the world with or without a U.S. social security number. Let's dive in. The first document you are going to need to open up a U.S. business bank account is your Articles of Organization. This is the document you receive when you successfully form a company in the U.S. That could be a limited liability company, an LLC, or a C Corp, a C Corporation. When you submit the filing to the state, the state processes the information submitted and returns a document called the Articles of Organization. Think of this as the certificate or document proving or stating your business has successfully been created. Once you have this document, the next document required to open up a U.S. business bank account is your EIN or your employer identification number. And the document exactly required will be your EIN verification letter. To get your EIN and to get this EIN verification letter, what you have to do is submit Form SS4, which is your application to apply for an EIN. Think of your EIN or employer identification number as the social security number for your business. The same way an individual in the U.S. has a social security number, every business in the U.S. has an EIN associated to it, which is the way to identify or categorize your business at the federal level. To get your EIN, you must submit Form SS4 to the IRS. If you have a U.S. social security number, you're able to apply online to get your EIN. If you do not have a U.S. social security number, don't sweat. You can still get your EIN, but you must fax the form to the IRS. In both cases, whether you submit the form online or you fax the form to the IRS, once you get your EIN back, along with your EIN verification letter, you're ready to go in terms of having the second key document for opening your U.S. business bank account. The next critical document required to open a U.S. business bank account is going to be a government ID. If you live in the United States, most banks will accept any government ID, including a driver's license or a passport. If you live outside the United States, banks will typically require a passport, a scan of your passport, a copy of your passport, but likely it is going to be the requirement of a passport versus a government ID. If you do not have a valid passport, then you should start the renewal process to make sure you have one by the time you are applying for a U.S. business bank account. To summarize, the three key documents you're going to need to open up a U.S. business bank account are one, your articles of organization, two, your EIN verification letter, and three, a government ID. Ideally a passport, but if you live inside the United States, some banks will accept a government ID like a driver's license. In addition to those three documents, when you are applying to open a U.S. business bank account, the bank is going to ask for other information on the owners of the bank account. Things like your name, your email, your address, and think things like other information on your business. What's your business name? What does your business do? How long has your business been in business for? And the reason why the bank is asking these questions is they are running a process known as KYC, or Know Your Customer. They are effectively trying to figure out, is this a legitimate person and is this a legitimate business? The good news is, if you submit these documents and you are running a legitimate business and you are a legitimate person, there is no reason to believe that the bank will not accept your application. But you should be sure to check if your company is one on a restricted list of countries that banks cannot work with. And two, you should make sure that you are not building a business that is on the bank's restricted business list. Think adult entertainment or think gambling. Certain banks will not work with businesses in these sectors. I hope this video was helpful, and I hope you have a much better understanding now of what documents are required to open up a U.S. business bank account. If you have any more questions on U.S. business banking, don't hesitate to reach out. Thanks so much for watching.